All right. This is informal. Feel free to ask questions. Go back and forth. Yeah, I got a, I got a question, Mr. Hello, my name is Pedro de Jesus, and I'm welcome to you to the city of Boston. Thank you very much. And I am here with the Boston Latino TV. Terrific. Uh, we ask you the, the question. We know that you are the narrator for the upcoming documentary for the Boring Kenyan. What was your experience on, on that particular documentary? That, um, that was a very emotional experience for me. I learned so much being interested in history generally. The history of, uh, this is a great slice of uh, American history. You think I'd say Puerto Rican history is more than that. It includes Puerto Rican, but it's really Puerto Rican with Americans. Yeah. Um, and I learned particularly what Borinquen means. Taino means the land of the noble lord. Mm. So uh, it was um, a, a very emotional one for me, too. How much uh, they suffered and um, how, how honorable they did their duty in spite of everything. They were the, the epitome of grace. Uh, it was a Unfortunately, uh, they were recognized far too late. So many of them are gone. But at least it was done, and the producers uh, did a great job. They had been working on this project for many, many, many years. And, um, I was very proud of it. And I was just wondering, what was your motivation to come to an AARP event? I think uh, mainly, <clears throat> don't need the money. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. I don't. So I don't work for money anymore. But um, it was to see if I could communicate without without ringing alarm bells, some sense of urgency regarding public discourse and regarding the future. It's a short trip, and it could end any moment. And um, life is short, art is long. Well, in, your, in your opinion, what is the, you think is the major contribution of the Latino community to the United States? Do I, do, do I think do, do, do no. the show? No, 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 in general. The Latino community? Yeah, the Latino you know, in the United States uh, experience. Well, let's see. The first European to walk across the continent was Nunez Cabeza de Vaca. <laughs> mm -hmm. it came from, from Florida to Mexico, first European. So yeah, they made a contribution. They, you know, they forged their way through this continent. They, um, they pushed back the veil, the crazy Spaniards, mm -hmm. and they created all those colonies. So it's... it's, it's, it's we're part of the DNA of this country. <laughs> it's, more, it's more than exterior. What about your, your future projects? Well, of course, there's Kane coming yeah. September 25th, which is a bit of a groundbreaking show. The first one-hour drama um, starring Latin Americans uh, ever on a major network, on the major network, which is what I like to think of. My, the network of record is CBS. Um, it's my parent network. I think it's the first network I worked for. The first TV series I ever did of my own was uh, CBS 1974, Poppy, based on the movie Poppy. Uh, and we, we did that then, so I've been with him for a long time. But this, this, this is interesting. This is interesting, more than interesting, it's important for more than one reason. Not only is it drama, not only is it a very contemporary piece, but it's, it comes at a very timely, timely uh, moment in our history, what was the politics in, in Cuba and the, the change in Cuba. Um, it, um, it's a hot issue, generally speaking. If it were an HBO cable program, well, we could go into other areas that we can't go into the network. Um, but it'll be interesting. The fact that it's the, an empowered, a family, you never see that, you know. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a very educated family, you never see that. And it's, and it's a classic American story. Immigrant, big family, power struggles, uh, good people who, are, who have to keep away the predators, you know, the business predators and the political stuff going on. So it's, and it's a terrific cast. And I've been waiting to work with Mr. Smith and Ms. Moreno for a long time. Mm -hmm. Where's it being shot? It's being shot in Los Angeles. The exteriors will be shot in 
Miami or thereabouts. Palm Beach, Miami. Actually, we <laughs> we shot uh, we shot for Miami in uh, Mexicali, oh. not long ago. You can't get there from here. It's a long way away. Mexicali, it's 121 degrees at one point. No air, and a couple of the crew members passed away, passed out. That's how hot it was. It's serious, serious heat. We were shooting between cane, cane, rows of cane with absolutely no air. It was awful. <clears throat> they learned a big lesson. Never do cane fields in the summer. Because <laughs> you're going to lose folks. Um, so that's what's being shown. Sure. Most of the interiors in Los Angeles, and some exteriors in Los Angeles, and, and some exteriors in Miami. So it has a very, very good look to it. Paula Tube, was it? <laughs> Is it your first time here in the city of Boston? No, oh, my goodness. I cut my teeth in repertory theater here. My first no. repertory theater was a theater company Boston, Boston, in Boylston. Uh, David Wheeler. Our company consisted of a, a bunch of actors from my generation. Um, people, uh, we say, what were their names? Dustin Hoffman, Bobby DeVal. <laughs> Those cats, you know, from... And um, uh, Cleveland Little, Al Pacino. And we, had, we had quite a... Quite a time here in the mid '60s, '66 I think it was. Yeah, '66. Yeah, '66, '65, maybe '65. <laughs> Repertory theater it means we're very poor, worked very hard. <laughs> so when the lady asked me the question, about acting, I, I, I had to be very kind. <laughs> okay, you got a question. Okay, if you weren't doing the acting, yeah, what would you truly love to be doing? If I had knees and my <laughs> and, my, and my, my body back again, baseball. <laughs> but seriously, that, that I loved my ball. I think social anthropology. I'm interested in what makes us the mammals that we are. You know. Fascinated by that, and I'm again a scientist friend of mine said, you know, if if man were to disappear tomorrow from the face of the earth, the earth as an organism, if you will, Gaia, would take some time, breathe a sigh of relief, <clears throat> and would start healing herself, healing. little by little. Um, but if insects were to disappear tomorrow, the earth would die in a minute. So that sort of puts you in your place mm -hmm. as to the impact you've had as vis-a-vis -vis the contributions you've made as a species. So I think one of the things that, one of the challenges in the future, in the next three or four or five hundred years, is to divest ourselves from absolutist ideology. Un ardiente abrazo para la gente de la comunidad latina en Boston. Un beso. Lo más grande de este mundo siempre me hacen sentir un orgullo profundo.